So, I sent out a tweet asking for the most toxic things that FC24 players do. You guys gave great responses, some of them went into so much detail that I got secondhand anger just by reading the tweet. You guys could chip in for FUT Universe's therapy, that would be fantastic. We gathered a lot of responses and put them into a tier list about the toxic things that FC24 players do. If you guys want to do this, be sure to check out the description where the link is going to be for this tier list. But before we get into it, I just want to say thank you so, so much for the support over the last few videos. It genuinely, sincerely means the world to me. But getting into the tier list, we have six different tiers here from ultimate toxicity at the very top all the way to the bottom of mildly annoying. Starting out with the meta players, I'm just putting that in mildly annoying. Don't get me wrong, I think the best part of the game is trying out new players. You might find some hidden gems. You think this Mbolo was a high rated card? He was an 81 rated overall and the best card in the game. You're not going to find those guys if you use the same players all the time. But if you're playing in a fun way, that's what matters most. I would much rather you have a boring team and play in an attacking manner. That's most important. Next up, we have using five at the back formations. Now, this one might be a little surprise to people. It's actually going to go in the cringe section. However, it's more so how you use the formation. Some people use it in an attacking way. Other people use the 4-3-3 attack in the most defensive park the bus manner I have ever seen in my life. Next up, we have finesse shot plus abuse. Yeah, that's easy. That's absolutely a rap move. Now, I was going to do one just entire spamming mechanics thing, but there are so many mechanics to spam that I had to separate them all. Using Finesse Shot Plus once or twice a game, that's not that big of a deal, but going down every single attack and just bang, bang, bang. Listen, you're not actually good at the game, you're just good at spamming mechanics. Actually, no, for FIFA, that does mean you're good at the game. Next up, we have people who use the Gritty, and again, this one might be a little bit of an unpopular opinion, we're putting that in the cringe tier. I would normally put that in the childish tier because celebrations in general are not inherently toxic. We just put that toxicity to that celebration. There have been toxic celebrations in the past. There's been the gritty, there's been the dab, there's been the brick fall. These are not inherently toxic, we just assign them a toxicity. Saying that, however, that means when someone does use a celebration like that, it usually means they're trying to convey a message. And that message is you. Next up, we have parking the bus. Now, I did say most mechanics would be in the rat tier. This one is ultimate toxicity, man. Like, these are the people that say, I'm not here to have fun. I'm here to win. I feel like these guys are the type of people to be screaming at a teenage jump in their adult softball league. So, this is like extending beyond FIFA at this point. Next up, we have passing around the back. Now, I did separate this and time wasting. So, passing around the back is more so just possession hoarding, right? And in that case, I think that's going to be more childish. It's definitely more than mildly annoying because they think they're prime Spain with their 91% possession, but as soon as you get the ball off of them, they're typically trash at defending, which is why they have to keep the ball. So it's usually an easy win and I don't mind it. Pausing for you to quit. Yeah, that is the ultimate level of toxicity. I know I'm down 3-0 in the 30th minute. It's because you spammed absolutely stupid mechanics and I was about to quit because I didn't want to deal with it. And then you paused it. If you pause it for me, I turn into the Wolf of Wall Street, all right? I'm not leaving! Next up is rubber banding. That's definitely in the mildly annoying. Now look, these are comparing each other against each other, right? We all know rubber banding's not good, but if you compare that to parking the bus, which is worse? You maybe have to wait just a couple of minutes. You can just go on your phone or something, but it's not the end of the world. Sending messages after a game. Honestly, I think they are hilarious. They can sometimes definitely go too far especially when they are just like threatening or there's slurs involved. That's obviously like on another scale of toxicity. But then there are other ones that are like, EA handed you the win. What the, f what the frick, man? That's, that's crazy. That's hilarious and I will always welcome them. So, you know, most of the time they're childish. But then you have sending a message after scoring while you're still in the game. That is absolutely going to be ultimate toxicity. This actually happened in one of the replies. The Foot Universe was sent a message after every time he conceded and then eventually lost three to two. Just two things real quick. Uh, one, we're all thinking about you. Again, maybe send a condolence card or just some, some money for therapy his way. I think that'd be good. Number two though, Foot Universe. Uh, I don't think you could waterboard that information out of me, I'm not gonna lie. The kickoff glitch. Yeah, again, like I said, abusing mechanics, usually in the rap mode, nah, this is toxic. I don't think there's a single glitch or mechanic that screams I'm bad at the game more than the kickoff glitch. One of the replies, I think his name was Jack, mentioned it, and I immediately just put it in this ultimate toxicity list. It is 
god awful. Speaking of abusing mechanics, sideline sprinting into a cutback. It's obviously a rat move. We all understand it is. Come on, obviously. Next up is time wasting. The issue with this one is that it is so dependent on the context. If I get scored on in the 89th minute and it becomes a one goal game, I will absolutely pass it around the back in time waste. And if my opponent were to do the same thing, I would not get mad at that. That makes sense. However, one of the replies mentioned that some people will go 1-0 up and then lob the ball back to a player and head it back to the goalkeeper for the rest of the game. In that situation, that is absolutely one of the highest tiers of toxicity. So on one side, you can absolutely be toxic with it, but on the other, you can use it for a legitimate non-toxic reason. And so because of that, I feel as though I have to put it in the middle, right in the cringe tier. That leads me into triple pausing, and that's going to be somewhat similar, where it's a little bit more dependent on the context. If you're your opponent is triple pausing after losing 9-2 in the 90th minute, that is absolutely hilarious, all right? And by the way, Hunter, your response was absolutely correct. Triple pause and back, okay? Assert your dominance. On the other hand, some people will triple pause in order to piss you off in hopes that you will quit and give them the win. So yes, it depends on the context for how bad it is, but in any situation, there is nefarious intent involved. So for that reason, I'll kind of put it in the middle, but it is, again, worse than, say, time wasting, for example. Next up, we have using 71 depth. Easy. Rat, you're abusing mechanic. Garbage. Not skipping loading screens. This is probably going to be the biggest difference between me and most other people. Uh, absolute rat. I hate when someone doesn't skip. If you don't want to skip the initial opening part so you see who you're playing against, that's fine. I have I have no issue with that. That's, that's totally fine. But at halftime... When, when you just see that scoreboard come down and you can just see it's just taking up the whole part of the screen. Maybe you see a couple of like the stadium seats behind them. Maybe like, oh, like a TIFO or something like that. What, what would happen if you went out and saw something actually beautiful? Like like a, like a mountain range or some, something just pretty. What if you saw like some type of Michelangelo painting, like the creation of Adam, for example? Who cares? What, why? Why are you not skipping? Why are you not skipping? There's no point to it. Just, why? Full of a... That was just off the cuff, actually. I feel pretty good about that one. Next up is using lone players in the weekend league. This might be very different, similar to the uh, don't skip the loading screens one, like just a little bit of a difference. I just think it's childish. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Listen, if you come across a full team of like lone icons or lone insane meta players in champs, they very clearly need to win more than you do, okay? And lastly, we have quitting when it's tied. No, I wanted to leave this one for last because it's very clearly in the ultimate toxicity tier, but here's the thing. There are levels to how toxic it is. The quote-unquote best situation when someone quits when it's tied is when they don't even kick the ball off and just quit immediately, and that still sucks. However, some people will pass the ball back to their goalie, act like they're going to give you the win, and then they'll kick the ball out and then quit. Some people will concede a penalty and then quit. Some people will get a red card and then quit. Some people will quit in the 115th minute when it's tied two to two. Not only is it the most toxic thing that any player can do, it's also an incredibly stupid thing from EA to even have it in this game in the first place. So is it in the ultimate toxicity tier? No, it gets its own tier. So that is the final toxicity tier list. Again, this is my opinion, but if you want to share your own, be sure to check the description. Again, there's going to be a link where you can do it yourself and be sure to share it on Twitter. We can have a discussion there. I'm sure nothing bad will happen if you do that. And before the video ends, again, I want to say thank you sincerely so much for the support. Again, I genuinely really, really do appreciate it. If you want to see anything, be sure to let me know in the comments down below, but that is going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you later. Peace.